And so as a mother watching my kids who went from almost you know, Isla had some mild symptoms, Jude was completely asymptomatic. And so watching them slowly develop, um, you know, symptoms of San Filippo and, and that window of opportunity, you know, really narrow, narrowing and, and I was worried it was going to close. Um, so by the time they started recruiting children onto the trial, Isla was eight. Um, and, you know, she she's not an attenuated she doesn't have an attenuated form of the disease she does have classic San Filippo but she has fared fairly well um, and so she was at that stage still you know fluently talking toilet trained um, you know doing really well relative to her peers with San Filippo so um, I was still hopeful that um, the intervention would come in time for her I suppose my expectations of what that intervention might deliver had adjusted. Um, as she aged, you know, I understood that the more damage to the brain, the less uh, likely the outcome would be miraculous. Um, and so by the time that the trial began recruiting, I suppose my expectation was that, um, or the best possible outcome might have been for her to be uh, halted in the disease progression, that we could preserve her as she was. Um, you know, whereas at the start of the, of the, the wait, uh, I guess my expectations were far higher um, for her. So I, I don't know at what point um, it would have got to where I would have said, okay, I don't think that this is a humane thing to do um, or that this is the right thing to do. And I, I, I kind of haven't really thought about that. And you can't, I can't as a mother think about something that, you know, that, that was a possibility that, that didn't occur. So I would just be tormenting myself.